At Cape Canaveral, Florida, the Army's Jupiter C rocket is ready for America's second attempt to launch a space satellite. No relation to the IRBM Jupiter, this is a rebuilt Redstone, a 200 mile missile carrying, instead of a warhead, three stages of solid fuel booster rockets and the Explorer, a six foot bullet only inches across, crammed with electronic gear. 30 pounds of payload. <laughs> This close-up of the United States edition of Sputnik was made at a press conference with leaders of the scientific teams. Dr. Verna von Braun, Dr. James Van Allen, and Dr. William Pickering. A three-way collaboration between private industry, academic science, and the military. Jupiter C stands poised on its launching pad. The hour's long countdown approaches zero. A moment of enormous tension, for every missile launching is still an experiment. Any one of tens of thousands of things can go wrong with catastrophic results. But all that can be done to assure perfection has been done. The moment is at hand. The countdown reaches zero. Some three minutes later, Explorer is in orbit, broadcasting to the world its coded scientific data. Cosmic ray intensity, meteor impact, solar radiation. These are the dry facts that will help carry man ever farther into the age of space. Two presidents, Gamal Abdel Nasser of Egypt and Shukri al Kawatli of Syria, meet to make history in Cairo with the federation of their two states into one, the United Arab Republic. News electrified the entire Middle East. In Cairo, cheering throngs followed the two leaders through the streets exultantly. The Al Hazar Mosque is the scene of prayers for the new union, which has already invited all Arab states to join. One, Yemen, is expected to bid for inclusion. The new state numbers 30 million, largest in the Middle East. Nasser has sent vast forces in motion with this act. The effect on the precariously balanced Middle East, no one today can prophesy. The rest of the world, America, Russia, Israel, all remain cautiously quiet, awaiting the events that will follow on Gamal Nasser's moment of triumph.